Alright, so game one, Montreal Canadiens versus Toronto Maple Leafs NHL season is officially back. I was considering reacting to the preseason, but I just decided not to. I was going to wait for the regular season to come, and we're here. Um, if you guys don't know, this is my first time doing a reaction video to hockey. I typically do um, basketball content, but I am a hockey fan. I like the Maple Leafs. I like the Rare Wings, obviously, with being from Detroit. You know, I have a different mix of teams that I like in hockey and teams that I don't like, but specifically with the Toronto Maple Leafs, I've always liked them ever since I started watching and I'm still a fan to this day, even with all the heartbreak. And um, with the team right now, we have obviously Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, and if I remember correctly, I think he's actually in a contract season. Um, I could be wrong about that, but if he is in a contract year, this is going to be a pretty big season for Mitch Marner. Um, and overall with the team, we're pretty solid. We added um, Max Pacioretty to fill out the forward core to add in a little bit more depth. Um, last year, Matty Nice had a pretty solid rookie season. You know, I feel like everybody knows that the Toronto Maple Leafs are talented. We can easily make the playoffs, but the question is, once we get to the playoffs, what are we going to do when we get there? We're cooking in the regular season, but we've been abysmal and disappointing in the playoffs. You know, it started out with 2017 and then all the way to where here we are now in 2024. It's been either first round, second round, out the playoffs. Actually, six out of the eight times we've made the playoffs since 2018 have been in a first round exit. And as we all know, they say that they say practice and repetition isn't good enough. You know, constantly repeating an action alone doesn't make something good. You have to do something well and repeat that for it to actually take an effect. So when it comes to the Maple Leafs, you want to have success in the playoffs. You don't want to continuously, you know, have first round exit, bad performances, and then just assume one day you're going to wake up and, oh, we're in the Stanley Cup final. No, you have to build good repetition to be able to get to that point. And a few years ago, when they finally got past the first round, that that was going to be it. But obviously, we ended up taking a step back in this most previous playoff run. And this is going to be an interesting year. Um, I could see, you know, if you told me by the end of the season that... This was the year that the Maple Leafs finally broke through and, you know, pushed forward more in the playoffs. So I'd be like, all right, solid. But at the same time, if you tell me that this was another year where they do good, make the playoffs, and then same type of situation as the past few years, I'd be like, okay, that's the Maple Leafs for you. So we're at a weird spot with the franchise, but it is what it is. Tonight we're taking on the Montreal Canadiens. They're not a slouch team at all. Pretty solid team, actually. I think last year they had around... 30 or 40 wins so they're trying to build back up to that point where they can make the playoffs themselves so without further ado let's get right into it all right we've got puck drop let's go let's see matthews good check there oh if we would have started out the game with the goal In the offensive zone, I like that to start out the game. Keep the pressure up. Keep moving the puck around. It's going to be open. That's Tavares, right? Number 91, if I remember correctly. Come on, y'all. Stay aggressive. Stay aggressive. Oof. That's scary. Who's in the net tonight? Is it is it Wall or is it um the other goalie that we have? It says the penalty kill last season we were 23rd ranked in the Canadians for the power play we we're 27th ranked. Is that Mitch? Let's go Mitch! Let's go Mitch! Good pass! Oh, bad pass! That was Matthews. He was right there. Ah. Oof. Yeah, he slipped right there. And by the way, guys, I'm standing in front of the screen so that, you know, copyright. Don't want to get too messed up with the copyright. Oh, okay, so it's not wall in the net tonight. Cool. I don't like Matthews being in that position where he's just 
off to the side. They're just waiting. I mean, I can understand that that could work in certain scenarios, but with the player specifically like Austin Matthews, I feel as though he can be utilized like in more creative sort of ways. Seven shots to four shots on the night so far. Middle of the first period. Shot. Oh, no. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Good setup. Mm. Good save, though, too. Oh, God dang it. Okay. Okay. I need to see a replay. They need to slow that down for me because that happened super fast. But Montreal on their home ice get the first goal of the night. But it's okay. Yeah, the goalie was out of position. And, yep, nice simple hockey one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he almost had a rebound right there. Oh, no. No! <laughs> oh, that was close. I don't have to say. No way the goalie comes out. And then they score it off of that. Another breakaway? Oof. All right, I don't know. If, I don't know if the highlights are being accurate right now, but it feels like um, the Leafs were starting this game pretty dominant, but now the Canadians have sort of taken over control, especially with getting the first goal of the night. Bro, what is up with these breakaways, man? Am I tripping, or do I feel like they're getting a lot of opportunities off the rush? I mean, like I said at the start of this video, I respect Montreal, but. I mean, what's going on? I mean, it's first game of the year. I get it. But still, like, you know, I'm just having a little bit of fun. Complaining a little bit. <laughs> we'll cycle the puck around. Move it up past the blue line. Okay, Willie Knee. Okay, Willie Knee. Nice shot. Nice try. Off the post. Just walks into the offensive zone. Beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. Forehand. Wait, hold up. Forehand. Backhand. Oh, that was close. I don't know who he was passing it to there. I haven't seen too many Matthews highlights in this game, so either he didn't really have an impact on the game. Oh, wait. Break away. Break away. Oh, never mind. Oh, he just came out the box, too. Hmm. The goalie for the Canadians, I got to give him respect. He's playing really good right now. Oh, Austin. Ooh, he wasn't even looking at the net on that shot. <laughs> good try, though. Oh, oh, my God. That was if that would have went in. Sheesh. He looked at the net for like half a second and almost got it in there. Come on, y'all. We got to apply some pressure now. We only got... Pressuring the Canadians and then it just flipped the whole script off. That we can build on. Uh, um, that's how hockey goes. I mean, you know, it's one of those games. Um, we know we gotta do a better job staying out of the box. Um, comes back to cost us, so you know we'll move forward and turn the page quickly and get on the jersey. All right, y'all. So that's basically everything from this video. Um, game one: Canadians take the W, Leafs take the L. Again, I didn't watch the full game because I wanted to react to it in this video, but it seems like it was a very close game. Um, the Leafs pressured the Canadians a lot, but with the mixture of penalties and the Canadians just playing very hard and tough hockey, they came out with the W for night one um, on their home ice, and the Leafs went home with the L. And I mean, like they said, it is hockey, but first game of the year, I'm not gonna trip out too hard. 
you know, if we go on a streak where it's like the first five games, we lose all of them. If we go like zero and five in the first five games, then I'll be like, all right, what's going on? But for the first game, we could bounce back from this. Like they said, the puck just didn't go our way. We had chances. The shot by Matthews where he had like a half a second to look at the net, but still, but still managed to find a way to almost score the goal. We were just an inch away tonight. So that's basically everything for this video. Make sure that y'all like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 7K and I'm out.